you are applying for AIPP and you don't know where to start, this video is for you. But before we discuss this topic, I just want to share to you our video um, about community events here in Halifax. Here you go, guys. Really, really small. And it moves really, really quickly. Oh, there's a bigger water bottle. Kyle, what happened? Um, I don't know. Why are you in the police car? <laughs> hey, po Officer B, Officer B. <laughs> Can you please? No, no, don't touch that one. That's the, that's the computer for the police. So this is. There's a line, I think, Kyle. Kyle. The challenge will come from this one. Oh, yeah. Trying to get the one of the towers down on the waterfront. You have the apparatus there, you get to see the towers. Do you guys want to see it every day at Shopsy Hills? This one takes time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's this one again? This is called a Vandergraaff generator. Vandergraaff generator. So this belt here is going to take elect strip electrons away and put them out into the earth. It looks dangerous. It does look mad <laughs> science doesn't it? Okay. So are you guys brothers and sisters? Yes. Okay. Do you want to share a shot? No. No? Yes. Ah. <laughs> I'm only holding this Okay, shine, go. So, shine, you listen. So, for you, you're going to put one hand on here. One hand. It's fine now, because it's neutral. Here. So put a hand on and keep the hand on. If you want to take it off, get off and stay off, okay? Because if you come back while it's running, you'll get a little sad, okay? Okay, so I'm going to turn it on. Are you ready? You're ready to become more positive. You are becoming more positive. You're taking away your electrons. Do you feel any tingling? I see your hair starting to stand up. Oh, you see your hair? Okay, so now we know you have a bit of a positive charge. Do you want to steal some electrons from your sister? Are you okay with that sister? Do a little finger to finger. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Why you're done? Why you're done? Do you want to try? Uh, do you want to try, Achi? So Why you're done? Back to neutral now. It's feel weird. Okay, no. so you're going to keep that hand on, okay? Are you ready? Okay, here goes. 
so. I, for stealing away your electrons. Do you feel any tingling? Did you feel it? Yeah, I like that. Let's uh, toss your hair a little bit. There you go. I saw some hair. Do you feel it? Oh. Okay. I so, feel. Do you want to share a shock? Shine. Hi. You could go finger to finger, or you could go fist. <laughs> The video that you saw is one way to show that the community here are all equal. Either you are immigrant, a local, you are um, different religion, different belief, uh, different skin color, you are all equal. So everybody are welcome and you feel welcome as well. And I really love this community event. It's a yearly event. The kids really love this event, especially the face painting. But anyway, the question is, if you are applying for AIBP, what will be the first thing to do? So the first one is you need to make sure that you are eligible for AIBP. There are three programs for AIBP, intermediate, high skilled, and international graduate program. You need to make sure which program you belong. And if you're not, um, you don't understand clearly what is international, high skill, international graduate, I'll post a link in the description below because I already created a separate video discuss every step-by-step -step requirements, eligibility of that program. But anyway, the first thing that you need to know is to make sure that you are eligible for AIPP. The second thing that you need to do is to complete all the documents because you cannot say that you're eligible if you don't have ECA, you don't have language test, you don't have a proof of fund, you don't have a work experience. So I just want to run down these four requirements. ECA, you need to have a na Canadian, high, Canadian high school level. Proof of funds, you need to have a cell before, but I will not recommend to get a CL before, rather get the highest score as possible for language test. You need the proof of funds. The proof of funds for four people in AIPP is around 5,000 Canadian dollars. And the work experience need to fall into NOC0, A, B, and C. So that's the, need, that's the thing that you need to know before applying for AIPP. Once you know your program, once you know that you already have all the documents needed, and that's the time you need to start finding an employer. So if you don't know how to find an employer, I'll post a link in the description below on how to find a designated employer. So that's my tip for today, and I hope to see you again in our next video. Don't forget to like share this video and subscribe to my channel and of course i would like to invite you also to join our forum which is the pinoy canada immigration forum thank you guys and bye bye